Data in this section should reflect annual giving in the previous school year that just finished. Annual giving is defined as all giving outside of capital giving. Solicited individuals are the people whom you approached for donations. Solicited donors are those in the prior group who responded to your outreach with a donation to the school. The list of donor categories is in a hierarchy. Count each individual in the highest category to which they belong, and then do not count them in any of the categories that come after that. For the top four categories, designate the number of individuals in that category who also serve on the Board of Trustees in the space provided. The system will calculate percent participation in the grayed out cells. In the total trustees table, the solicited individuals should be all individuals on your board from whom you requested donations. For most schools, this will be the total number of trustees on the board. For donations made through a family foundation or other organization, credit the donation according to which person entity made the decision to donate. If an individual donates to the school through a family foundation, credit that donation to the individual and count them in the category appropriate to their role in relationship to the school. If an organization is making a donation as part of a match or in response to a proposal of some sort, credit that donation to the organization in the appropriate row. The remainder of this recording reviews tools and techniques that you can use throughout data entry to have a successful experience. The recording is identical across all categories of data. If you've already heard these tips in another recording, you can skip the rest of this video. Each subcategory of data starts with notes about the data to be entered in that subcategory. Often, you'll find a note about whether the data to be entered are for the current new school year or for the prior year. For each table of data to be entered, the instructions highlight important information for entering data in this section of the collection be sure to review the bulleted notes. The first section or sections of data entry will be core questions asked of all schools entering data in Dazzle. Toward the bottom, you may find tables of questions added by one or more of the associations using Dazzle and tied to your school. You can fill in the tables with last year's numbers and then go through and edit them. This is a particularly useful approach in areas where the data doesn't change much from year to year, such as school characteristics. You can use the Notes feature to record useful information about the data point you have entered in a field. This could include an explanation of an unusual value or notes about where you found the data in your school's records or systems. You can hide or show the notes as you go through data entry. As you enter more data, it can become difficult to find fields that need to be filled in. Click Highlight Missing Data at the top of the page to find those fields. The system will highlight with a pink bar any fields on the page that are missing data, making it easy to find them and fill them in. To find definitions relevant to a data point, mouse over the question mark icon for that row, column, and or section of data. Use the NA button to designate a field or group of fields as not applicable to your school. This will mark the fields as complete and will show them as such in your progress bars. Click Save or Control S often to keep your work. Dazzle does not automatically save the data you enter. Clicking Save or Control S will make sure that your work does not get lost if you suddenly lose your internet connection. Shaded cells are calculated by the system based on numbers that you have entered in other fields. To make the system rerun the calculation, click the Save button or Control S. Remember that you can leave the data entry process as often as you would like and return to continue your work. Be sure to click Save or Control S before you log off, and you can pick up where you left off when you log on next time.